In previous versions of Tableau Prep, Prep did not observe the column ordering that you set up inside of the product. In 22.2, it does. Let's get stuck in. Here I've connected to a data source inside of Snowflake and essentially I've connected a sample data source and I've already got a data flow going with the uh, summary table up. And what you've typically done in the past to sort columns in this view is just to drag one of them and uh, just wait for this cursor to sort of show you an arrow that you can place it in between a specific point and you drop it in. Now the problem in the past has been that when you then go and output this uh, file to a particular file type, CSV, Excel, or to a database, that column ordering has not been observed. In 22.2, it is observed. That's something that's been asked for in the community feedback. In fact, if I go to the community forums, I'll just bring it up in another window here and put it in front of the screen. Um, this should hopefully load this up. So this was uh, recommended three years ago by Jonathan Drummy, a uh, Tableau visionary in the community. And essentially this has been voted 1.4 thousand points. Um, it's absolutely crazy. It's such an obvious thing as well, you know, just to just preserve the sorting that I give my data in the data structure. So now that this is um, actually coming out, it's great to see that Tableau are listening. Um, the cool thing about this is that you can do it in two ways. So let's just go back to this uh, clean step number one over here. And if I go to the field summary view, you can also do it here. So if I just go and uh, drag my phone uh, list up, uh, let's bring nation key to the very top and I'll put phone second. What we're going to do is we're going to output this to a CSV file, which will then open in Excel. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Let's let's actually just put it out to an Excel file straight away so I don't have to open it into anything. We'll just call this um, file, create a new worksheet called file, um, uh, da, 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 replace the entire data set every time we write this because we're going to open it more than once. And uh, in terms of where to put this file, I'm going to put it inside of my recordings folder where I'm recording all the videos for this. So we'll put it in there, we'll go in the output folder, and what we want to see is that nation key and phone key come up at the very top. You can see that's the order that I've just given it here. Uh, you can see it's also the order that I've got there. So we're going to see if that actually happens. Let's go ahead, hit run the flow. Um, it will go out to the Excel file. While that is running, I'll just go ahead and get that folder open. Uh, so we'll see that uh, file turn up hopefully anytime soon. And um, yeah, we'll have a look at the actual file. In fact, this is a very large data set. So this might have been a, a very, very bad idea to do this, um, especially over Snowflake. So we'll wait and uh, just, just let it finish. Maybe we'll hit the Excel row limit and uh, we'll see what happens. So um, let's wait for this to finish and then we'll um, open it up. Okay, it's finished. I did actually pause and restart this. Uh, I'll explain why in a second. It's gone to my default location, unfortunately. There it is. Um, in my data sources folder. So that's exactly where we'll go. We'll open up the file explorer. We'll go to my documents folder. We'll go to my Tableau repository, prep repository, data sources, um, output.xlx. I can even see from here that the sorting has been maintained because I can see the C nation uh, column there. And what I did is I filtered it down to just one row and you can see that uh, the sorting of the columns has indeed been observed. The two that I set there have come back. Now what I'm going to do is close this. We're going to change the sorting and we're going to run it again. It will hopefully overwrite that file. So let's go back in here. Um, I think I actually changed this. Did I change this in a subsequent step? Mm, I think I did. Um, uh, I didn't change it in a subsequent step. I just changed it in here. So what we can do is go ahead and maybe put the address field at the top again. And we'll go to the output. You'll see that the address is now at the top. Hit run flow. You'll overwrite the file. That's been done. Now there's something really interesting going on here because you can see that I've actually set address to be at the very top, but my output is still showing the nation key, the old setup. So I think what might be going on here that it's caching something about the file because if I delete this and add it back in, I do see the updated sorting. So whenever I add a new output, the sorting actually persists. And if I just go ahead and output that to the exactly the same uh, Excel file, um, in this particular case, I think I called it a file. I wanted to literally overwrite the previous one, uh, replace the data, 
Everything should be called output, output, output. Let's, um, oh, interestingly, when we, when we, when we select that file, it, it pulls that, um, sourcing in previous sorting that we, we saw. It's not until I actually, if I, if I give it a different file name, let's say file number two, create a new worksheet called file number two, then the new sorting persists. But if I, if I name it after the original one, then it actually grabs the sorting that's already in that file. Uh, it seems it doesn't seem to grab it and then rearrange it. it. It doesn't sort of push what I've actually got here in the data. Um, I've set it here to uh, replace the data. Let's set create table, and that might actually be the better thing to do. Okay, so that that's um, is that a knowledge gap from me? Probably is. Um, if you look over here, the reason that wasn't actually working is because um, the setting here was not set to create a table every single time. I mistakenly assumed that replacing the data would do the same thing, but actually replace the data only creates the table if it doesn't exist. If it already exists, it doesn't create the table. It keeps the columns as they are and fills the data in, essentially drops the table and you know puts the data back in. Creating the table completely deletes everything and then puts it back in. So that's why the sorting uh, works a little bit better. So I was gonna say the sorting doesn't stick when you change the output, but you just need to make sure that you got this to create table for it to overwrite the existing sorting that was previously selected, okay? So that's a really nice quality of life improvement. Now, the only file types this works with, I'm gonna check my notes here, is Excel, CSVs, Hyper, and then in terms of databases, Google, BigQuery, Redshift, Snowflake, and then of course, Publish Data Sources on Tableau Cloud or Tableau Server. So um, it's a new feature, but of course, it doesn't work with absolutely everything. Microsoft SQL Server is not in that list. Oracle is not in that list. So hopefully it comes to more and more databases over time as they start to roll this out. But nonetheless, this is quite nice to have this happen, that it persists the column sorting um, for you inside of the product. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next 2020.2 video.